guys, Squid Lord here. Welcome to part two of the PS or the haunted PS1 game. Um last time I finished three games out of this. And they were pretty interesting. So let's see what we have in store for this go-round. We're gonna start off with killer bees found footage uh, from the Killer Bees case has been leaked online. You can witness what the officials hid for all these years. Strictly 18 and up. Alright. So let's go with this and see what happens. This case contain or this game contains disturbing images and gore. This demo was made for the haunted PS1 Disc. Killer Bees. Alright. Pretty interesting as is. Um let's go off easy. Let's go PlayStation One. Tape one. Hmm, I don't know what any of this says. Can I? Nope, okay. Probably should have went into the options menu. Hmm. Please don't tell me it's all in Japanese and I have to go restart back into the options. Got more bullets. Hmm. Sorry, my nose got kind of itchy there. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Alright, here we go. It's awfully quiet. See, like, this is good squeaking sound design, because it's just, like, abrupt when you hit a certain spot in the floor. Unlike, you know, Air 34, which, like, the floor squeaked every few footsteps. Okay, you got quite a bit of bullets. What the f fuck is that? Thank you. 
Yeah, I kind of need more of them. Can I reload my gun? No. Just got infinite bullets. Alright, nice. With an exception, of course. The sound design for this game is real nice. It's really eerie feeling, which is real good. Thing there. I feel like something's following me. I'm not too sure though. And I'm giving up on looking at doors because every door I've walked to doesn't work. Alright, I'm full on bullets. <laughs> Got him. I said I'm going to give up on doors and I keep looking at them. I just don't want to miss anything. It's a good experience so far. Atmosphere wise. lighting though the fuck okay a little bit Jesus oh god it got on my computer too <laughs> shit I scared myself more than I did oh. can I uh, swap between the two I feel like this has got more bang for its buck though oh I can't swap between the two that's nice. That looks dope as hell. Ah! Oh, shit. Ah! So, shotgun V, the bees, does not work. Alright, I want to get at least one of these filled. Okay. What does this do? Okay. Well, whatever it was, I collected it. But it's not giving me anything it actually needs to go to. Oh. I'm dumb. What is this? Health. I walked right by everything I needed. Shotgun shells, shotgun shells, give me pistol shells too. Oh, yes.
Okay, no. Alright, so... <laughs> So it does work both ways for that. Okay. Wait, there's something glowing off in the distance somewhere. Do I have to go back upstairs? Ah! 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 to just survive waves of stuff. Okay. That's very dumb. Oh, hey there. Can I go up? That's it for that one. All right. So, Killer Bees, interesting game. All together, we already played Erasure. We haven't played until Big Light. So, this may be interesting. A narrative adventure about mice, fat cats, and a never-ending quest for Cheddar. Seems like it'll be nice and interesting. It's the middle of no light, and you've just been rudely awakened by your landlord demanding an extraordinary amount of rent. You don't have the cheddar to cover it, so you've gone into the neighbor nearby neighborhood in search of odd jobs to scrounge up crumbs. That's the way back to your burrow. With how angry your landlord is, I don't think it would be confident. Uh, I want to be con confront them again without rent. Okay. I can't talk right now. Th this is... Oh, damn, this actually looks real nice. Holy hell. A hefty mouse behind the bar looks up at you, or looks you up and down. Uh, their paw rapidly spinning a bolt of cloth inside a thimble. Hmm, hi there. Haven't you? seen you around here before. Surely you didn't just wander in from the trail. I live around here. Oh! Did you just move in? I don't get out much. <laughs> Fair enough. Not a whole lot to do out here anyway. Uh, is there something you need? You got any crumbs? Ah! Just what I like to hear. A mouse motivated to work. I mean, assuring, assuming you are looking for work for those crumbs. Uh, what do you need to done? Well, I just have a bit of a roach problem in the cellar. They're quite huge and probably take a skilled swords mouse. Uh, so that rolls you out, but. Got something more your speed to deliver a letter that needs to be delivered. Are you familiar with nine lives? What's that, really? It's the biggest chain owned by fat cats. You've 
definitely seen one at some point. They're everywhere. At any rate, there's uh, one just further down the path. That's where you're going. Take this letter and give it to the cashier. You're giving a mysterious letter. They're the ones uh, to pay you. Don't listen to any pleas they, they come up with. Uh, they're a rampant liar. Nothing. Just deliver the letter. Don't open it. Trust me. Just hand uh, that over and I'll get something nice in return. Let me know when that's taken care of. Stay safe out there. All right. Hey there. Uh, you're the new mouse around here, aren't you? They're the one that does whisker deliveries. I've seen you out there now and then doing deliveries, just like me. Is that your sad gig? Not quite. Oh, my friend. There's no shame in it. I'm a cog. Just like you, I know your pain all too well. We're comrades out there. Everlasting chase for Chetta. It's fruitless. It's so fruitless. I could use some help. What's up? I'm being evicted. Oh shit, me too. Let's be friends. We're already co-workers. I hate that. Uh, though, Whisker is in trouble. Just another dumb fat cat's uh, inattentive cooked up to follow Humi trends. It pays the hills, or pays the bills. Not enough, apparently. Uh, not like you have much of a choice anyway. Hardly any jobs out here, much less anything hiring. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's nice not having to work at any one of those stupid shops like Nine Lives, but I don't know how good it really is. All I do all day, all I do day in and out is sprint up and down the trail, leading, handing richer mice uh, food they can afford for scraps of crumbs off the top. I don't have the time stop unless I want to, which is really good, but also, it's not like I have to go out there, no one is making me, and no one cares about me out there, it's lonely, I miss com comradery, comradery, that word, I had a thimble the other week, uh, while I was running off for delivery, it fell out on the hillside steep, really messed up, bounced off some rocks on the way down, had a hard time walking, uh, and the dock I saw told me it was going to cost a huge chunk of cheddar to fix me up. I didn't really have much stowed away, because I'm barely making crumbs anyway, you know. I, you can't save on that patents plus after paying up for the cheddar or paying for the checkup I can barely afford to eat and now I can't get into get going to make any more because my job realizes on relies on me being able to run all over the place real shit sandwich let me tell you <laughs> I tried to reach out to whisker and tell him you know I was working for you guys while this happened you know I pulled off I pulled myself back up on the trail and hobbled all the way to the end of my delivery still maybe they all find uh, maybe they'd help front some of the cost make me feel like they valued my work appreciated the due diligence of finishing out an order after that they told me I was just the one responsible for me so now here I am I get cr some crumbs for drinks I slowly limp up and down the trail for a few more crumbs for some more <laughs> drinks and I survive Kai I don't feel like talking much more 
Hmm. I feel so bad for that guy. This is a nice perspective of things, though. A note stuck to the door reads, The shore... Shoe room apartments. Opening soon. Located in the scenic outskirts. Uh, the shoe room off shoe box offers luxurious living for an affordable price. Only 5,600 cheddar a cycle. Uh, you c too can enjoy a room six square inches. The hottest new craze, Michael Brooks. Contact us at the big light to fill out an application. Please note that application costs a half cycle's rent. Applications do not guarantee placement within the complex. Fee is non-refundable. That's a bitch. They lean lazily on the counter. Obviously young. Obviously extremely bored. They don't seem to notice your approach. You wave your paw at a little, paw a little at them. They come too. Oh, uh, hi. Are you buying something? I have a letter for you. They shift nervously, averting their gaze from yours. Uh, what do you mean? You handed the mysterious letter. Look, I don't have anywhere near enough crumbs. I'm just the messenger. I'm sure, but first you, then who? What if they send someone actually threatening to my burrow? I mean, my parents' burrow, but I mean, I live there too. Not with them, you know, just because they suck. Anyway, I don't think I can afford that. You gotta help me out. What's in it for me? I'm sure I'll figure something out. Look, my friend can take care of all this. I promise. Or not. I don't really know. They've been looking for someone helpful. Apparently, I'm too gun-ho, whatever that means. Okay. Alright, so... He's got to lead... Uh, you've got to head out of here. Take left. You should meet a really small path through the gla through the grass not glass that'll take you to the cliff knowing them there should be an old mouse staring at nothing out there they know everything there is to know about this place they'll know what to do about the barkeep and i know you've got a lot of questions about this so i'm sure they can clue you in on what the mess is in this place. Here, this is a note explaining everything. Just hand it over. Hastily scroll. No. I'll close up early and meet you over there once we're all done. Everything's exciting. If you say so. Uh, today might just be the red letter day we've been waiting for. If you've decided to help my friend. Anyway. I gotta start getting stuff put away here and get caught up on work. Alright. Go from here and left. There's a small path. Well, I'm gonna be... Where did he go? Must be back that other way then. Oh yeah, out this way and left. Older mouse. Well, hello there, Squirt. What can I do you for? 
I have a note for you. Oh, let me have a look. Oh, that poor youngling. Mm, I suppose you have a lot of questions, don't you? What's going on here? A farce of monumental proportions, Squirt. The felines have swindled us time and again, but what's happening now is by far the worst swindle they'll ever rot. What about the kid? Just tell me what's going on. The squandle between that child and the barkeep is nothing compared to what the cats have in their paws. The barkeep is only the beginning, I assure you. Do you understand how the system of control can warp its mealy tail around the society of intelligent creatures? For the fat cats, it's simple matter of disinformation, uh, smokescreens, and silencing any squeaks of uh, decided. Uh, I'm I'm bad at talking right now. A concerned effort set to establish complete and utter control uh, how we perceive reality itself. They set their paws on creating a hyper-reality in which we find ourselves immersed. A world so doused in a muddied waters of the true and the untrue that the lines between them are inexorably blurred until we can no longer see the waters we swim in. After all, if we can't know what is or what isn't real, how can you make any meaningful change or fight injustice? What do you have no... What do you ever know? There's problems within the system to begin with. And those who dare go against the grain find themselves quickly swatted down by the iron pall of totalitarianism. There is a reason for our last attempt to overthrow our reckless leaders is called the final rebellion. It's a statement of what reality will be as much as one... Uh, we have lost our chance to turn the tide. What happened? Inflation, undermining, turning against one another, creating insurmountable walls between us. An external group in which a hateful eye upon stops one from focusing on the real internal issues. A dastardly plan to blind us with our own hatred. The barkeep was just such a mouse who fell. Entranced by the siren song of the blame, a thought moment, a th thought moment that placed through movement, that placed all of the hardships of mousehood squarely on the shoulders of the non-mice Excluding the felines, of course. Anger is far easier to harbor than love. The cats knew uh, that and exploited it to its fullest. What are you talking about? What did they do? Tell me, what was the last time you saw a rat? That's exactly what they'd want the younglings to think, but they were re very real. Let me assure you, originally this oak sto uh, stood above all the woods here in the Guardian, high above the tree line. The fat cats would have those they called lesser beings with cold calculation hunged, hanged from its branches tree of growth, ca they called it. They would shed the weight from their burden upon us as a society to achieve greater heights, or so they have us think. 
the barkeep was a gray, grim caretaker of this place, an ancient family home that they had themselves inherited. Eventually the oak turned in time into an inn, and they couldn't keep it afloat after the insurance of Cheddar. But with the advent of the den, no soul wished to venture this far, a seating especially not for a fee. Despite the low, dis desperate and low on Cheddar, they turned the oak over to the fat cats when they expressed a keen interest in the location. The rats weren't the only undesirables in the eyes of the felines. One group is rarely enough to bear the blunt brunt of such ire for so long. Quickly, the oak became a harbor for all sorts of enemies of the established. Uh, any who entered, earned their ire began to quietly disappear. For a while, the mice brought here would simply be adjusted. No, one was ever quite the same when they came back. It wasn't until much later we realized that the bastards were making them infertile. That's why you have to stop them. Excuse me? You're an unknown entity here. I've seen you skulking around trying to not be noticed. You slip in and out of the bowl like a spirit of the night. Going unnoticed seems to be a skill you've honed well, and it's something that could benefit all of mouse kind tonight. Easily enough, you should slip into the oak, scale it, topple the feline uh, patriarch that hides up top, silently lording over us. His gaze never falters from this place here, and the cat in the tower controls it all without raising a single paw, but they've never seen it coming. Here so meek, so modest in physique, physical stature. After all, face it, you're the perfect mouse for the job. They've all taken so much from us, it's time we take back. We can burn away the blight that has plagued us this once great society. I just want to pay rent. Ah, rent. That, that's a good one. Who do you think owns the land around here? The landlord? No, they're just patsy. They shake you down for your cheddar and go between for whenever things turn ugly. The bar keeps windfall for fat cats was more than enough to snatch up the land the felines had no interest in. Your rent won't ever be a worry again. Uh, if we can take back, why not? They're too loud, too bolsterous, too emotionally charged. They couldn't hold themselves together long enough to make it past the security in the oak. Not like you again. Fine, that's the spirit. First, let's First things first, let's gonna need some leverage to get the keys from the fortress of the oak. It may not look like much, but it's nigh impregnable. I have an idea. Go back to the tin can bar. The barkeep always scuffles off this time of uh, no light uh, to meet their superiors. Behind the bar on the far side, the entrance you'll find a false bottom of the last drawer. There you'll find our bargaining chip. Bring it to me and we can motion a new dawn of mouse kind. I'll head towards the bar shortly after you. I just need a few more moments first. After all, who knows how many more I'll have like this. Uh, where hope springs eternal into the mouse's chest. Best not 
to deny an old mouse long thin whisker and brittle off bone that much remain steadfast squirt god almighty that's a fuck ton of text so accept that sorry as he's dropping you're right I've glimpsed it before it's beautiful to spoil the surprise <laughs> Get the hell out of here before shit hits the fan. Heard you kicking the hornet's nest and I don't want to be around for it. Collateral damage, so I guess. Hope this isn't goodbye, just farewell. Until I see you again at the big light. Uh, hopefully taller. This mice control of their own fates. By the way, I uh, shaved a little off the top of tonight's profits when I was counting... And I know you're toppling the <laughs> good knee, but just in case you end up needing to pay your rent somehow, don't die up there. Whoa. 50 cheddar. Oh hey, time to see. See the barkeep? They just left. Oh okay. Another drink from behind the bar. Lord of the hundreds. And you've never experienced. Barfly seems to be sober. Oh. One of the few pieces of edible cheese left in the world. Anything else gets pounded into cheddar immediately by the cats. I've been like this. They've showed me it once and they were a little drunk. I guess it's some kind of family keepsake or something pawed down through the generations of mice. Never thought of much till now. I guess your story does check out. Few lines wouldn't let something like this slip away from them so long for a good reason. You ever wonder what cheese tasted like before it turned into crumbs? Before it was used to trade materials, goods, and labors, it was just a simple pleasure to enjoy with one another before subjugation. They trailed off into silence and drifting into their thoughts. A strange impulse fills you, snout into tail, their words echo into your mind. Why was it taken from you and your kind? Surely there'd be no harm in just, let's try some. Oh really? I guess you're already pissing them off, so our ancestors used to relish and hope they aged you. Peace of the Lord of Hundreds. Hit your tongue, you feel the room begin to shift. Mouse is on a drug trip. A strange sensation takes over your form. Your corporeal body detaches from your spirit. A higher existence comes into focus. Here within this moment, your thoughts drift to currency. What is this? In this stream of emotions, you feel peace. Your rent no longer looms overhead, demanding your subservice to the greater system that wishes not for your best interest nor to care for you. The taste of lingers in your mouth, simply sublime. Eons of cheese eating washed over you in natural state of things, your heritage. Why have we let them take it? What is it blocking you out of the past? It certainly isn't the law of nature. There's more of us than them. We outnumber them a million to one. Why is it that we have yet to converge, to take the upper hand? Why have we been so scared? 
they shouldn't take from us any longer. They can't. Not today. Not anymore. They won't. Did you feel that? It's like something woke within me. <laughs> and I don't think it's going to go back to sleep. You should take this and get out of here. Take it. That was a lot. Uh, change all this. Mouse kind deserves to be free. Can I take this fork and like arm myself with a fork? I like how the dude said he was going to be right behind me and then he ended up not doing any such thing. Oh shit. But I keep you. You fucking Mickey. I know you stole from the bar. Who do you think you are? You're coming with me. You've pissed off the wrong cat. Okay. Thank you for playing the demo until big light. The application will now close. All right, that was pretty nice. Pretty solid. Interesting. I really wish I had voice acting. If I had voice acting, oh my god, it'd be amazing. All right, next on our list to play. Snowy Castle. Uh, yeah, let's play Snowy Castle. And then that'll be the end of this bit. Hmm. Navigate the castle grounds to relight candles in the this atmospheric exploration game. Play it like this. Zero out of twenty-four candles are lit. You finally awake? around the castle. Well, like, that's a really interesting, like, thing to be able to do. Alright, so I can't open up that door. Oh, if I even press space, it does the same thing. Okay. <laughs> So there's 24 candles that are gonna light up around here. This may take a little while. <laughs> okay, so there's not a sprint, it's just a slow down. Can they blow? Okay, so when I'm out here, my little lighter can get blown out. So there's one in that building. <laughs> I don't know how far I can actually explore, which is kind of concerning. Okay, so this is about as far as I can explore. Because if I can get all the ones outside, then that'll make this a lot easier. Okay. I'm gonna go down through here. 
Let's see what's down here. So you can't go over there. This like this map is kind of laid out pretty swell. I think it looks nice. Where is this at? Feel for where I'm at now. Got 13 out of 24. Goodness gracious. back into the building and go from there because there's only 10 more left So that's still not going to open up. I'm fine with that. This is a very atmospheric like experience.
Did you like not load in properly or something? to another section of this castle. <laughs> okay. So it was a secret door. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry this around like that. Eighteen out of twenty four, so that's real nice so far. <laughs> Three candles floating around out here. Because it feels like this game is designed to, like, be so you can solve it different ways. Unless these doors don't actually go anywhere or do anything. Oh, that's neat, interesting, and different. There's actually only 24 running around. But then, where is the 24th one? That's a big question. Because there's one more floating around here somewhere. Maybe it's through this door, through the other door. Very interesting, to say the least. Maybe it's off of here on this side of the castle. Because if it is, then that's going to make it easier for me to just try to figure out. But I don't think it is on this end. I think I have to walk around in the snow some more to figure it out. Unless there's just like one lone candle floating around somewhere that I just walked by a billion times. <laughs> wow, I found it.
the what? That is the Snowy Castle, and this is the PlayStation 1 2020 demo CD horror pack. So, uh, this is part two of that series. So, thank you again for everyone for watching. Uh, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're already not subscribed, uh, ring that notification bell link in the description below for not only the game but my facebook page mixer twitter all down there and you know what as always guys keep up the shenanigans i'll see you in the next video